This was brought to you by The Strange, The Bizarre, The Unusual, I Like It. On YouTube and Facebook. Roger Bacon. The Mongols took over a lot of Eastern Europe, opening trade routes to the East making travel there easier. These stories awaken the imagination, allowing our forefathers to imagine new lands outside of the constraints of their time, and represented bravery, courage, adventure, and exploration. Out of this came more imagination which spread from the 11th century into the 15th, 20th, and 21st centuries as well. It was also said, Francis Bacon was a reincarnation of many other people before and after his time. He was Samuel, the last judge of the Old Testament, Merlin, Roger Bacon, and Columbus. Francis Bacon, Jesuit priest also, believed in Atlantis and referred to America as the New Atlantis, and he wrote a book about it. Roger Bacon was a fan of Prester John and the stories of Merlin, which were written about 100 years before he was born. Was Francis Bacon a fan of Roger Bacon, and did he believe in Roger Bacon's ideas and beliefs? Are there similarities when comparing the two men? They both believed in inductive reasoning. Roger Bacon was one of the first scientists to use inductive reasoning, a process used well after his time. Francis Bacon worshipped inductive reasoning while Roger Bacon may have been able to construct his microscope, telescope, and astrolabe on his own. He experimented with the colors within rainbows, thus harnessing and manipulating light. Roger Bacon researched the calendar and could accurately calculate time and proposed the 365-day year instead of the 360-day year currently used in that region during the period. The church didn't make the change until after Roger Bacon's death so this isn't a fact, nor is it a fact that Roger Bacon was arrested before his death. These are all just stories handed down to each generation through time, and no records remain determining if he was arrested for his scientific research. Books with forged signatures suggested that Roger Bacon was involved in alchemy, those accusations have since been discredited, and it was found that those books had never belonged to Roger Bacon. The name of the books was called of natural and supernatural things of the first tincture and root and the spirit of metals and minerals of the metals or tincture of antimony and a work. Roger Bacon was never credited for the Voynich manuscript, but his name was written within the manuscripts. Rumors said he donated a lot to education and visited, as well as taught, in Paris when he could. Roger Bacon studied Aristotle, optics, astronomy, alchemy, and medicine. He was often compared to other scientists of his period, such as Al-Kindi, Al-Hazen, and Abu Sa'd al-Al-Ibn Saul. Roger Bacon was an exhibitionist, with concern to research, and if he was imprisoned it was thought to be the result of showing off his scientific findings to the public. This may have sealed his fate, but even so, linking this to religion has produced nothing. Abu Sa'd al-Al-Ibn Saul was also imprisoned, because of his scientific research, not by anyone of religion, and in prison is where he made his greatest scientific discovery.
This was brought to you by The Strange, The Bizarre, The Unusual, I Like It. On YouTube and Facebook. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.